how to use the Kubaton. The biggest issue with using the Kubaton, just technique wise, is too many people think that it's a shank. A Kubaton isn't a shank. Can you stab someone with it? Yes. But its main purpose is a force multiplying striking tool. For example, if someone grabs you and won't let go, you can take your Kubaton or pen and jab it into their knuckles really freaking hard and they will let go. And that's not an issue for most people. The issues occur when you do a follow up. You have to have a level of control so you don't end up using excessive force, i.e. stabbing someone. You can't justify stabbing someone for grabbing your arm and not letting go. But why the Kubaton is so great is because you can press it with minimal force and it will still hurt someone. Remember, stabbing is a last resort thing. If someone is actively trying to take your life or kidnap you, then that's when you can justify the stabbing. You'll also realize that when you train with it, anything shaped like a Kubaton can be used as a Kubaton. Like how I can channel my inner John Wick and use a pencil, or even this spoon. And that's why the pen is such a good alternative.